Muy buenas a todos señores, señoritas, animales y lo que haya por allá que estamos en otro vídeo de en sin Impact Y antes de empezar quiero mostrar este logro Altos niveles de energía adéptica, alcanza 20.000 de energía adéptica en tres diseños de mundo interior Un poco coñazo, pues bueno al menos ya me lo he quitado de encima y tenemos una nueva tarjeta Esta tarjeta es... Qué guapa ¿no? De la relaja tetera Bueno, vamos a continuar ¿de acuerdo? Porque hoy señores... Miedo me da, ya ha salido un nuevo evento que ya cuando acabemos esta misión de Arconte eh, haremos De escarabiablos, es un evento de hacer un torneo de escarabiablos, eh, cuidadito con eso Poca broma Bueno, tenemos que llegar hasta escaramucha, pone Señores, yo creo que ahora sí ha llegado el momento, jodido momento Vamos para allí A ver, forja divina, ay, ay, ay Yo creo que aquí me va a poner a Zongli, eh yo creo que aquí me va a poner a Zongli Porque voy a sacarle quizá más rendimiento al tema Escara está bien, pero a nivel defensivo está un poco atrás todavía Y no sé si estará adelante algún día Bueno, ahora sí Sí, no toca otra The sages wanted to realize their god creation plan without being discovered. The safest and most convenient way would be to build within the academia itself. Hmm, that's true. They were already hiding one god, so why not two? Judging from the structure here, the project is a huge undertaking. The sages really saw the god creation plan as their ultimate goal. But this place doesn't look like it could have been constructed by the academia alone. The Fatui under the doctor sure didn't hold back. They provided a lot of technological support. Después de todo era es para que uno de los once se convierta en un dios. Or else they wouldn't have been that generous. Is that it though? I've always felt that this doctor is different from the academia sages. He doesn't seem to share their sense of urgency. Instead of being interested in the end product, it's like he's enjoying the experimental process. Hmm. The Fatui Harbingers are all such weirdos. So, the doctor being weird is actually normal. So, this Fatui that they're trying to turn into a god is called the Balladeer? We had previously come into contact with his consciousness. He harbors particularly strong obsessions. One is the desire for a gnosis, since he was created to be the vessel for one. The other obsession is probably related to his past. I can't quite explain it. Paimon knows that he was a prototype puppet for the Raiden Shogun before he became a Fatui Harbinger. That's why he wants a Gnosis so badly. There's no way he'd willingly be a test subject. Now with that temper and ego of his... It sounds like you know the Balladeer quite well. Hemos tenido varios encuentros desagradables con él. Solo de algunos encuentros y ninguno fue grato. Bueno, sí. Sí. Tell me more about him and what the more we know now, the better we can plan for and react to anything. Sí, le cuentas a Nigeta todo lo que sabe sobre Escaramucha. Ah, I see. How fascinating. All right, time to go. Let's get through here and meet him in person. Venga, vamos. A ver, yo me he puesto a Zonli solo por... Yo qué sé. Por precaución, por si hay algún enfrentamiento... Poderosamente poderoso. Es que el escudo, tío, de Zongli es una maravilla, tío. Joder, ya está. Madre mía, lo bueno de la Shogun es que se me recarga súper rápido la, la ulti. Y eso yo creo que es imprescindible un momento. O sea, hay que subir, pero abajo no hay nada, ¿no? Es decir, no, 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 no. ¿Qué cojones va a haber ahí? De acuerdo, subamos. Hay que seguir subiendo. Qué lugar, eh, tan. It looks like we can climb up these pipes. Eh. Sí. Hostia, qué guapo esto. Bueno, podemos escalar un poquito. En un dominio ya se sabe que no se puede escalar. A no ser que haya algún lugar indicado para ello. Vale, aquí no hay nada más, ¿no? Uah. No hay nada, ¿no? Alrededor, parece que no. Estoy mirando a ver si hubiera algún cofre, pero no parece que haya nada, ¿no? Curioso, ¿eh? Pero qué lugar más tenebroso. A ver, ¿y esto qué es? Ay, 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 ay. 
Let's go around and see if there's a way to fix it. Ah, sí, ya veo, ya veo, ya. Pero, o sea, está desordenado. Si nos fijamos en los dibujos, sí se nota, pero... ¿Cómo puedo yo modificarlos? Vale, desde aquí, ¿no? No creo que tenga que ponerme encima de... Pero un momento. ¿Y aquello qué, tío? A ver, yo creo que tengo que tirarme hasta ahí, ¿no? Imposible hacer esto. O sea, no creo que sea tirarse ahí encima de la plataforma esta que está... No creo, ¿no? ¿Cómo coño ordeno esto, tío? Que no entiendo yo tampoco por qué sale esto aquí. No creo que tenga que venir aquí, ¿no? Eh, aquello estaba... No sé, tío, yo no entiendo nada. Ahora llega un punto en el que no... Que no sé, a lo mejor sí hay que venir por aquí. Pero, ¿para qué? ¿Y ahora qué? Mm... No entiendo, tío. A ver, hay que subir por aquí, pero... Sí, puede que sea esto, pero aquí de atrás, ¿qué? Algo hay que hacer atrás. Vale, aquí hay más cerdos. De momento no he visto cofres. Ah. Me han quitado la ulti o soy yo. Ah, no, porque he muerto al caer. Ah, rotar. Es decir... Ah, amigo, ahora sí, hecho. De acuerdo, habrá que buscar la siguiente opción. Vale, ya entiendo. Ahora sí que entiendo el tema. Había que hacerlo, pero en otro punto. No, ahí no se podía hacer nada. Eh, aquello es un cofre, eh. Aquello es mío. Hostia. Es que tengo una naida que está poderosa, eh. Pero, hombre, podría estar más aún, obviamente. ¿Cómo? Bueno, voy a hacer esto, ¿eh? Voy a hacer esto. Bueno, ya lo he mejorado. Vamos a mirar ahora aquí. Vale, ahora es cuestión de rotar este. Ahí. Bien, pues ya está. Rotadísimo. Eh, ahí hay un cofre. Por ahí hay que ir. Ahora tengo yo que saber cómo llegar al cofre que hemos visto aquí. No me sale de los huevos perderlo. O sea, os lo digo yo que no lo voy a perder. ¿Cómo llego? Eso es lo que yo no entiendo. Bueno, solo se me ocurre hacer algo y es con Zongli. Porque yo creo que tengo que ir por ahí. Me da igual caerme porque al final... O sea, yo llego así, con Zongli. Pero si no tuviéramos a Zongli, ¿cómo llego, tío? ¿Cómo llego yo sin Zongli? Esa es la pregunta, tío. O sea, ahora supongo que me tengo que dejar caer. Porque yo realmente no sé... Ah, no. No, no, no. Voy a ver si puedo... No se puede evitar, yo creo ya, ¿eh? No se puede, tío. Voy a tirarme, me la suda. Esto parece que me odie, colega. Parece que me odie. Bueno, ya hemos cogido el cofre, que era lo, lo importante. Ahora esto, girar. ¿Qué hay que hacer aquí, tío? A ver si es que... Ah, coño, ya lo entiendo. Aquello va a venir y hay que... Ah, vale, habría que mandarlo para la derecha para el cofre, pero ya lo hemos cogido de otra forma. Y si lo giramos así, pues es para ir hasta allí. O sea, el cofre lo habríamos cogido girando eso. Vale, bueno. Pero lo hemos hecho de la forma rápida, señores. Hay que ser inteligente. Hay que aprovechar que tenemos a Zongli. Vale, entonces esto se queda aquí, ¿no? 
Vale, bien, vamos bien. Me gusta, me gusta. A ver. Ah, al volverme a caer he vuelto a perder lo de la recarga, pero bueno, es lo que hay. A ver, hay que rotar. Un momento, el cofre lo primero. Rotemos. Sí, rotadísimo está, ya. Rotadísimo está. Vale, entonces hay que seguir mirando a ver si hay algún cofre. ¡Ay, ay, 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 ay! ¡Eh! ¡No es por ahí! Ah, porque es arriba, creo. Ah, no, es de frente, macho, madre mía. Qué ganas tenía yo de caerme. Vale, creo que hay que ir por aquí, ¿verdad? Creo que el brillo este indica el lugar donde tenemos que saltar hasta esta plataforma, ¿eh? Creo que sí. Es lo único que entiendo yo. Pero no he podido hacer cambios aquí. Ah, coño, estaba aquello. Bueno, a ver. El cambio... Eh, no, es que hay varias plataformas. Hay varias, ¿eh? Yo intuyo que... A ver. O sea, me refiero a que hay varias... Zonas donde se puede cambiar. El giro este. O sea, el giro este... momento o sea con eso o se choca con la pared con eso realmente no, no va a ninguna parte gira coño vale este entonces lo vamos a dejar así este yo lo siento pero quiero comprobar si hay algo aquí no lo parece no no, no parece que haya nada Quería comprobarlo, señores Yo qué sé Es que hay que tener curiosidad en este juego Ahora el tema es eh, La plataforma Ah, vale, que se ha ido para ahí Ah, porque al caerme Como que se reinicia esto Bueno, pues lo voy a dejar ahí Ahora, yo creo que esto se va a girar justo allí Donde queremos ir Ah, pero esto está guapo, eh Este dominio está guay, está guay Y aquí, pues, supongo que nos va a dejar Aquí Pues ya está No sé si allí hay algo, pero tampoco voy a estar mirando todo porque... pues Lo malo es que me caigo y... Y pierdo un poco Lo de la ulti, tío, la recarga Ah, oh, qué más ¡Bum! Madre mía Hostia, están fuertes, eh Eh, que no lo he matado Joder, no te he visto, tío de acuerdo, ah, ¿qué más? Ven aquí, maga Te enseño yo lo que es la buena magia Se acabó, madre mía, ¿eh? Estamos potentes, muy potentes Eso me pone, me pone mucho A ver, rotemos Última rotación Ya está, ah, no, no es esta Bueno, será aquella que viene, será aquella que viene, señores Será aquella que viene ¡Ey! Ah, bien Pues ya está ¿Qué ocurrirá aquí? Madre mía Bueno, ¿y eso? Tengo un poco de miedo Esto me parece que es una especie de elevador Que nos va a llevar a algún punto ¿eh? Ay, señores Creo que se acerca un momento Culminante Que puede suponer un antes Y un después En toda esta guía Y no exagero ¿eh? Vale, sube, sube, sube Señores Sube, voy a curarme de mientras Voy a aprovechar un poco a Kokomi Es que eh, teniendo a Kokomi y a Zongli Tienes un seguro varios de vida O sea, eso hay que decirlo ya Indiscutiblemente Tenemos tres arcontes con nosotros Faltaría 20 De momento, pero bueno Que 20 realmente poca broma Uy Looking at its operational status We must prepare for the worst The god they wanted to create is likely close to completion, or already completed. 
Ya presencié cómo era capaz de controlar el clima. <coughs> Su aura, eh. Bueno. Llega. Ay, ay, ay. Llega, dice. Llega, dice. No ha habido cofre, ¿no? Yo no he visto nada. Bueno, llegó el momento. Estoy acojonado. No, realmente no. Estoy con ganas, coño. Que se venga con nosotros, Escara. Y que se... nos haga compañía. Uh, escena, escena. Esto sí que me gusta. Hostia, chaval. Who would have thought the world would be so eager for my birth? I remember you, Boer, the god of wisdom, and standing beside you, the traveler. Is he all knowing and powerful now, like Greater Lord Ruka Devada? No, I can't feel the same kind of divinity I felt from the Greater Lord. It seems that the sages didn't get the chance to infuse the divine knowledge capsules into him. But even still, he has undoubtedly become a true god now. <sighs> so we're too late? The Balladeer has already... already become a god? The Balladeer. A long bygone title. When my spirit ascended to divinity, I felt as if I had existed for the same number of epochs as heaven and earth. Looking back, the existence of what once called itself Kuni Kazushi appears infinitely small and ugly. Buah, el dios mecánico. Así que siendo el escaramuche de siempre por dentro, no sé si eso es algo bueno o algo malo. Strife is engraved upon every god and every gnosis brought forth into this world. Can you feel it? The exhilaration of such power and the thrill of anticipation for our contention. Nahida wouldn't feel the same things as you. Do you not realize that you are interrupting a conversation between gods? Lowly creature, know your place. Sigue siendo el mismo escaramucha de siempre. The strife engraved upon a gnosis. You're talking about the Archon War. Tavat's current peace was not easily won. I didn't personally participate in the Archon War, but the way I see it, 
All those losses were meaningless, driven by the demands of the laws. There's no point in bringing it up again. <laughs> Is that so? Yet I am deeply disappointed that I was never allowed the fortuity to personally participate in the Archon War. This is a first. Encountering a god in this world who does not crave power. No wonder your own people have abandoned you, god of wisdom. Pero a partir de ahora sus seguidores serán cada vez más, pues ya son más devotos de los que vas a tener. <laughs> your judgment is as your existence. Unsubstantial. This is where everything ends, Boor, the god of wisdom. You should know that wisdom cannot solve every problem. Like now, where your only option is to face me in combat. Come. Let us reenact a scene of the Archon War. Come and inaugurate my birth as a god. Buah, es que a mí este tipo de momentos me parece espectacular. Vale, derrota al protector. Hombre, tener a Skara aquí ayuda mucho, la verdad. Bueno, vamos a ir sacándole vida. Locamente. Y hay que ir aprovechando el escudo de Zongli. Indudablemente, yo creo que aquí hay que a ver, a mejor hay, hay, hay que atacarle en el brazo, es que no todavía no conozco mucho las mecánicas. Pero bueno, yo creo que vamos bien. Se acabó. Madre mía, humillado. <risa> Hostia, esto ya es otra cosa Esto ya se complica, eh Esto sí, señores Lo primero que hacer es A Zongli <risa> Vale, sacó una miseria, tío. Yo creo que esto... Habrá que atacar, no sé cómo ni qué. Pero habrá que hacer algo. Algo hay que hacer. Ya veremos el qué, porque de momento... Así no hacemos nada. Hay que averiguar un poco el tema, aunque no tengo ni idea, tío. Yo de momento voy a ir poniéndome el escudo de Zongli. Ah, no le saco nada porque algo hay que hacer Oye, ¿qué hay aquí alrededor? Esto habrá que atacarlo, me parece ¿Verdad? Pero ¿cómo lo ataco? O sea, ¿con qué elemento? No sé Hay mucho que hacer aquí Hay mucho que aprender Vale, algo pasa aquí A lo mejor había que aguantar This is supposed to be a battle between gods, yet you choose to hide behind a mortal. And now, you're acting like you'd sacrifice yourself for a human. Are you having fun proving a false sense of heroism to yourself, Boor? The data collection is almost complete. 
you know how many times you've tried to take my Gnosis from me? <sighs> we just concluded the 168th loop. Did you know that in the effort to create you, the people of Sumeru were forced to live through the exact same number of Subzerus festivals and Samsara cycles? The power of dreams. When did you use it on me? Can't even defeat me in a dream. What do you hope to achieve with this little trick? Huh? Come, traveler. Just like before. Allow me to awaken the memories in your dreams. <gasps> All that battle experience! It's more than that. Compile everyone's wisdom in the name of the Archon. That is the original function of the Akasha. I've sent everything that happened just now to the people of Sumeru in the form of knowledge. I've asked them... ...to help you find a way to defeat the false god. Tricks won't save you. Are you done with your tricks? Can I finally take this as a real battle between gods? I'll leave this to you. The first sage. A boar. A mí esto es que me parece una brutalidad. Oye, me han cambiado el orden, tío, porque esta zongle esto ya me, me jode mucho, eh. A mí esto me jode que te cagas, tío. No entiendo qué ha pasado ahí. Me han cambiado el orden, tío. ¿Por qué coño me han cambiado el orden, tío? Ahora Naida está el cuarto. No tiene sentido. No tiene ningún sentido, tío. No tiene ningún sentido, os lo digo. O sea, no sé qué ha pasado ahí. No sé, me estoy rayando, tío. ¿Por qué me han cambiado el orden? No, en serio. Es algo que quiero entender. Están vacilando. Vale, vamos a ver si puedo quitar esto. No sé cómo, pero bueno. A ver. Vale, con agua, tío. Con agua se quita. Con agua se quita. Voy a intentar... El escudo, tío. El escudo es lo que necesito ponerme. Y ahora Naida, a ver. Ya, me tendré que acostumbrar al orden que me han puesto, tío. No, pero ya estamos a punto, eh, de quitar la, la barra. Vale, aquí. Hostia, la música me parece una pasada, nene. ¿Qué ha pasado ahí, tío? No entiendo nada. A ver, Shogun, o sea... Kokomi. Es que no entiendo, tío. El hecho de que me cambien el orden... Es como... Oye, contrólate, juego. Que no te he hecho nada. Vale, Naida es la que puede acabar con esto, ¿eh? creo. 
Vale, bien, vamos a coger esto, obviamente Vale, uno menos Faltas tú ¡Bum! ¿Ahora qué? ¿Dónde están? ¿No hay más? La obligatoración fugaz está por llegar Bueno, que llegue lo que quiera Increíble enfrentamiento, ¿no? ¡Coño! Oye, ¿por qué me han matado de un golpe a Naina, tío? Voy a resucitarla, ¿eh? Esto no se puede quedar así Yo tonto no soy Vale, voy a intentar ser inteligente No tengo nada que hacer, ¿no? ¿O qué? Es que no sé qué hacer Vamos a ver si puedo curar a mi querida Naida, tío Bien La verdad es que no estamos haciendo prácticamente nada, ¿no? No le estamos dañando ni nada Tampoco sé cuándo atacarle Entonces pues... Ahí creo que le hemos atacado Sí, sí, le estamos quitando vidita bonita Y jugosita Voy a intentar recoger esto Vale, voy a ver si Es que tener a Zongli en este combate es tener... Toda la vida, tío Prácticamente ya asegurada De verdad, el escudo de Zongli es el mejor escudo Con diferencia que hay en el juego tío. Bueno, esto le queda nada ya ¿eh? Naida es ahora o nunca Es ahora o nunca, Naida Es ahora o nunca Sí, señor Qué maravilla de Naida, por favor Humans. Filthy humans. yet found the answer to the most important mystery. Ermin's soul is still waiting to be saved. With the power of another Gnosis, we may now finally understand the last memory of Greater Lord Rukadavata. Huh? This is... That's right. This is the last memory of my predecessor. No salgo de mi asombro, tío, de verdad. Este juego hay que vivirlo, hay que vivirlo. Hasta que no lo juegas y le das mucho tiempo, no vas a entender absolutamente nada de lo que puede suceder aquí en nuestras mentes. A ver. ¿Y dónde estamos ahora? Claro, el Irmin Sul es algo que hay que salvar. El árbol es. Claro, es esto. But I didn't expect the remaining consciousness of Greater Lord Rukadavata to be as polluted as this. Contaminada? Hmm, no querrás decir que el conocimiento prohibido debe ser el pro por el conocimiento prohibido. Forbidden knowledge? Hmm. It seems you know about a concept that even I don't completely understand. Could you tell me what you know? Me cuentas en la todo lo que aprendiste en el desierto. Hmm, your inference seems logical enough. 
Forbidden knowledge once polluted the desert thousands of years ago, but was successfully repelled thanks to King Deshrit's self-sacrifice and Greater Lord Rukadevata nearly exhausting her power. Then, a second instance of forbidden knowledge pollution occurred during the Conria Cataclysm 500 oh. years ago. But I'm afraid it is much more serious this time, with Ermin Soul itself already in danger. So, if we're in the remaining consciousness of Greater Lord Ruka Devata, and it's also been affected by forbidden knowledge pollution, then... Yes. It's very possible that she sacrificed her life in the fight against forbidden knowledge. She didn't completely eradicate forbidden knowledge, but if it weren't for her actions, the pollution would have been far more rampant over these past 500 years. The way that everyone, including me, has forgotten everything about forbidden knowledge may very well be due to her restoration of Ermin Soul. <laughs> Aww. Do you feel sad, Nahida? I'm just uh, sharing her pain. The pollution of her consciousness here is severe. There is madness, chaos, and pain all around us. Did she fight to resist the forbidden knowledge pollution in such terrible conditions? All the way up to her last breath? She even used her last remnant of lucid consciousness to leave a clue for us to follow. ¿Te refieres a las palabras, mundo, olvídame? Yes. Her words were distorted by forbidden knowledge, so that's all we could hear. But now, we have a chance to find the answer to this mystery. We can cross the polluted consciousness until we found the right path to meet with her lucid consciousness. And then, we'll let Greater Lord Ruka Devata tell us the truth in person. Espero que podamos usar esa verdad para salvar Each a todos. of us need to be mindful of the state of our own consciousness while we are here. Even with the Gnosis' protection, we must always keep a clear mind. Otherwise, we could go mad at any moment. <sighs> That's so scary! Don't worry, it should be easy enough for you to keep that mind of yours clear, Paimon. Let's go. Esto está ardiendo. Acceso denegado. Es un logrito. Ah, no puedo activar el logro ahora, de acuerdo. Pues nada, oye, allí no habrá nada, ¿no? Bueno, vamos a mirar por aquí entonces. In the air? Why is there a huge boat? That's the boat of consciousness, which symbolizes reason here. Its course is the direction our consciousness. No, hombre, no. What are these? No me cojodas el diálogo, tío. Qué asco me da esto. De verdad. Me revienta, eh, que siempre me jodan el diálogo, tío. Espero que no haya mu no hubiera mucho más, pero me toca los cojones, tío. Es que no me puedo mover nunca, tío. Coño, qué asco de verdad. Me pone de los malditos nervios me pone. Shine down. Me da mucha rabia, tío, de verdad. Me da mucha rabia. Bueno, la cuestión es que ese barco no sabemos qué coño hace ahí. No muérete, coño. Tú, cerdo, ¿qué haces ahí? Que te mueras. Vale, por aquí arriba no hay nada, ¿no? No. Pues tocará ir para allí. Ay, qué rabia, eh. A ver. Esto es fringado. Ahora ya vuelvo a tener en el orden que quiero a mis personajes. No sé qué coño había pasado antes, la verdad. Aquí, joder. Odio cuando el cabrón que quiero que muera antes es el que se esconde, tío. Cuando utilizo la ulti de la show. Me da mucha rabia. ¿Por qué coño lo hacen? Cuatro pétalos en el cielo. A ver. Vamos para allí, que esto no ha terminado todavía. A ver, que ahí hay movimiento. Oh, chaval, esto del barco me parece una jodida locura. ¿eh? Una jodida locura, tío. Bueno, va. Vamos a ver. A ver, ahora hay que ir para ahí, ¿eh? Bueno, pues ya que estamos, vamos a ponernos a Naida, porque... Es la protagonista. No sé si habrá algún cofre por ahí, escondidito. No lo parece, ¿no? A ver, cuidado, Naida, que te chocas y no sabes salir. Hey. 
rebuild. Gather. Vale, fuera. Boom. Qué auténtica maravilla, de verdad. Qué auténtica maravilla. ochocientos nah. a veces la shogun saca 10.000 11.000 pero claro eso depende del daño crítico y la probabilidad del crítico también porque al final la probabilidad ah vale esto habrá que tocarlo vale 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 hostia cuidado vale me toca ¡Pum! Ah, por eso aún tengo que mejorarle los artefactos y ponerle mejores hay muchísimo margen de mejora en mis personajes aún, obviamente. El timón. Bueno, pues vamos a por el timón, que lo hemos visto ahí. Buah, chaval. Qué maravilla de parte hoy. Qué locura. A ver, activemos esto, a ver qué ocurre. Pues esperemos que sí. Judging from the current route, the boat of consciousness will soon take us out of here. El barco de la conciencia. Hmm. ¿Aquello es una luna? Y digo una luna porque se supone que en este juego hay tres. No estoy seguro ahora, pero. We'll be arriving at our destination soon. How are you feeling? Are your minds still intact? De vez en cuando se me pasa algún pensamiento extraño, pero parece que ya está bien. Hmm. Huh? But everything's been completely normal for Paimon. Hopefully there won't be any more interruptions. This time, we should be able to meet Greater Lord Ruka Devata. Are you saying you've never met Greater Lord Ruka Devata before? No. It seems that my birth and her death took place at the same time. Otherwise, I think she would have given me a little more guidance, and I could have done a better job. Hey, you've done a great job, Nahida. Let's get out of this creepy place and go meet her. Bueno, vamos a conocer a la reina mayor Ruka de Bata, señores. Eso ya son palabras mayores, eh. Son palabras mayores. De los arcontes que conocemos, Naida se podría decir que es la más joven. La que menos experiencia tiene. Pero no significa que no pueda actuar bien. No, no voy a moverme porque no me fío. Ahora, ahora. Los pies del Irminsul. Me encanta la música cuando llegamos a este lugar. Este lugar es tan misterioso, místico, tan divino... Tan extraño, tan todo enigmático. Buah. Well, this is the place. Sí, es justo como lo recordaba. I... We're here to find Greater Lord Ruka Devata, right? But the one standing over there is. Uy. Is that? Mm -hmm. She looks exactly like me. Are you Greater Lord Ruka Devata? Yes, that's me. Are you surprised by my appearance? <laughs> no puedo creer lo que ve mis ojos son idénticas. Herman's soul and the surrounding lands have been reproduced here as they were years ago. But this is just a realm of consciousness. We are manifestations of the same nature. Hence why we would appear exactly the same. We are of the same nature because you are me and I am you. You are me in the new samsara. The new samsara? As greater lord Ruka Devata, I'm the avatar of Ermensoul, and you are the purest branch snapped from Ermensoul. Imagine it this way. Even if a tree dies, its branches will eventually take root and grow. Continuing the tree's life in another form. I'm merely the remaining consciousness of Greater Lord Ruka Devata. The real me has presumably died a long time ago. Hmm. Judging from your appearance, 
I've probably been dead for 500 years, but you're finally here. My new self in the samsara. Así que ese es el vínculo entre la reina menor Kusanali y la reina mayor Ruka de Bata. Vaya, yo que pensaba que también eran gemelas. This is true. Then am I going to be a great archon like you someday? No, we share the same nature. Our fates are bound to be different. All things have their own fate. When a branch grows into a mature tree, it won't be the same as the original tree. That's why fate is the ultimate knowledge, isn't it? That's a great insight. Yes, very good. It's also precisely why you won't become like me. <sighs> really? But perhaps you may become an even greater Archon than I. I already see a determination in you that I didn't possess in my time. And the future that it leads you to will be yours alone. Along with the blessings from your past experiences. Don't worry. The growth of wisdom is like that of a plant. You only need to wait quietly for the flower Yo to bloom. Tengo fe en Come to think of it, the sages never had the faintest inkling of the meaning of wisdom. Thank you. Nothing makes me happier than discovering that the Archon I always admired was in fact myself in another fate. It's so nice to speak with you, Greater Lord Ruka Devata. I've always wanted to meet you. The feeling is mutual. From the moment I snapped the branch off Ermansoul and created you, I've also looked forward to talking with you. Could you tell me why you wanted to create me? And what exactly happened when you died? Ah, I see. You're here seeking answers, right? Everything that day. Even the sky itself changed into a color like this. No sabía. El desastre de At that time, the seven were all summoned to the nation of Conria. Except for me. I had a more important task to attend to. I had to protect Erminsoul. The disaster occurred together with the pollution of forbidden knowledge. At that very moment, with my consciousness connected to Erminsoul, I sensed something was wrong. The pain started to torment my mind. By the time I reached Ermansoul, it was already displaying signs of corruption. Had I not repelled the pollution of forbidden knowledge with King Deshret thousands of years ago, I might have felt even more hopeless and lost. So what exactly is forbidden knowledge? It's a kind of knowledge that doesn't belong to this world, and a form of truth that can't be understood. It came from the very bottom of the abyss. Even I could never understand it. The world is constantly rejecting it, leading to all kinds of bad phenomena. If we allow forbidden knowledge to pollute Ermansoul, I'm afraid the entirety of Tevat could fall apart. So, there's knowledge that even the God of Wisdom can't understand? At that time, I knew I couldn't repel the forbidden knowledge with my strength alone. Which is why I created a device that compiled human wisdom and named it the Akasha. It's truly the world's most amazing invention. <laughs> Thank you. For a long time, I thought dreams were the fruit of human wisdom. Though it was selfish to do so, I borrowed people's dreams using the Akasha. Then I compiled their wisdom and all of my own power. Well, did it work? Thanks to the wisdom of the people of Sumeru, almost all the forbidden knowledge was cleared from Ermansoul. But... things didn't go as smoothly as I thought. I had a terrible headache, which gave me an uneasy feeling. And then... I remembered that my consciousness was also connected with Ermansoul. It brought me knowledge and wisdom, but vile corruption as well. From the very beginning, my existence had been polluted by the forbidden knowledge. Oh no! How could that happen? I've experienced that pain in your consciousness. It must have been a horrible experience. Yes, but my feelings weren't important. The important thing was that... Even if I died, my existence and everything related to me would continue to exist in Ermansoul as memories and knowledge, meaning that the forbidden knowledge 
couldn't ever be permanently eradicated, and there's no way for me to eliminate myself. It would be a sort of paradox. So, I took the purest branch of Ermansoul as my incarnation in the next samsara, and left a trail of clues. All in hopes that you would come here and remove me and my pollution from Ermansoul forever. Wait! No, I can't! <laughs> so you realize what that implies? You are very smart indeed. Ermin Soul has all the knowledge and memories of this world. And as you've realized just now, removing me from Ermin Soul means I essentially will never have existed in this world. But this is the only way to save Ermin Soul. People love you so much and. and they've missed you so much over the past 500 years. I. I am exactly the same. So how... how can we just... forget you like this? Is there really no other way? There must be something else I can do. You are the god of wisdom, Boor. You should know that there is no other way. But this... this is so cruel. I don't want to forget you. No need to feel so sad, Boor. As someone who delights in wisdom, you should feel joy at finally finding the answer. These are the words in their entirety. The answer you've been seeking all along. Let the world completely forget me. We all nestle under the great tree of wisdom, peering out to perceive the world. From the earth and from the rain, we perceive its wonders until we become a white bird to perch atop a branch and finally snap off the most important leaf. Once upon a time, I alone dreamed in this world. In my dreams, everybody would also dream after they fell asleep. Wild and wonderful thoughts would emerge from their minds. Some tumbled to the ground and others floated to the sky. Connecting all things in the world into one dazzling net. Among a plethora of worlds were numerous smaller worlds. All of fate, finding within the tapestry their brilliant glow. I gradually understood that these indescribable and constantly changing things are the most profound things in the world. Only they can completely repel the madness. Only dreams can awaken consciousness from the deepest darkness. I'm the one who posed this question, yet also the one who sought a solution. Saving the world with the dreams of the people used to be my answer. And now, you've also found your own answer, and I shall return all the dreams to the people. Goodbye, people of Sumeru. May you be blessed tonight with the sweetest of dreams. Madre mía, tío. O sea, esta es de las mejores escenas que he visto hasta ahora del juego, tío. Emocionante, tremendamente emocionante. Naida. I'm all right. I'm just a little confused. ¿Qué es lo que no comprendes? We've just saved the world, right? So why... Why am I crying? No querrás decir... I don't know where this feeling inside of me is coming from. But I feel very sad. ¿Te acuerdas de lo que acaba de pasar? Just now... 
We use the power of two Gnosis to successfully connect with the Ermin Soul Consciousness from 500 years ago. Then... We removed the remaining pollution from Mermin Soul. Uf, esto cuidado, eh. Porque yo sí la recuerdo, es porque no soy de este mundo. Yeah, what's wrong? Weren't you there just now? Parece que Paimon tampoco lo recuerda. ¿De verdad se han olvidado todos de la reina mayor Ruka de Bata? ¿Debería contarles la verdad? No sé, no sé. Buah, chaval. ¿Qué es ese ruido? ¿Qué sueño tengo? Esto yo creo que es obra del doctor, eh, tío. Digo yo, eh. Es una sensación mía. ¡Uh! Había alguien ahí. Yo creo que era el doctor, eh. No lo he visto bien, pero luego como está grabado, luego lo puedo ver. I've been waiting here far too long. But finally I have the chance to be alone with you. All the precious time I wasted has finally paid off. The doctor! What have you done? Just a type of sound wave that can quickly put defenseless people into a dream. As I expected, it doesn't have any effect on gods. This is the only thing of interest I found among the sages' research. I thought I'd take it for a little... Spin. Don't worry. I know you would never forgive me if I actually killed them. I'm here to negotiate with you. Naturally, I won't do anything dangerous that could potentially damage our relationship. Negotiate with me? I heard you had already left Sumeru. Why are you here again now? I left Sumeru, but I also stayed in Sumeru. Even the God of Wisdom is restricted by the habits of cognition. How disappointing. You mean... there are many different versions of you in this world? An astute guess. Even the same individual will have different cognitions at different ages. A long time ago, I made a major decision in hopes of preserving all my perspectives of how I observed the world. Observation is the first step of any experiment, but observing the current world doesn't satisfy me. It lacks an important dimension, that of time. So I saved segments of all my ages and made them into independent individuals. That's all there is to it. Indulge me. How does the God of Wisdom find my method of seeking knowledge? It's an insult to the very concept of life. Life inherently has many rules and restrictions, each with its own significance and reason to exist. They can't be broken on a whim. <laughs> Good. Amazing, even. Indeed, it's difficult for humans to make peace with themselves, not to mention oneself from a different period. Since you're in the academia, Why wait until now to show up? You could very well have stopped us and helped that fake god. Simple. Let me ask you this. Would any staff member ever help the subject in the middle of an experiment? It was my experiment. So why should I interfere with the results? The Academia saw the plan to create a god as their ultimate goal. Yet you only saw it as an ordinary experiment. You... You really are crazy. If the experiment succeeded, you would have had a new god on your hands. How would you have faced your own god then? Would you still take the same stance? Would you still hold the same view of yourself? I'm first and foremost a scholar. These results should be left to the judgment of the hypothetical me confronted with that outcome. But you're right. And that's exactly why I'm disappointed with the conclusion of this experiment. As an individual, you don't have any sense of belonging. You seem to have even fewer convictions than a typical scholar. Oh no, I certainly have my own convictions. They just don't fit your standards, that's all. All right, that's enough conversation for today. The experiment is over, and it's time to tidy up the equipment and reclaim any useful materials. For example, 
the Gnosis. <laughs> Lesser Lord Kusanali, you're an intelligent Archon. I'm sure you understand the disparity in our combat abilities at this time. Besides, you have no way to use that Electro-Gnosis in battle. Didn't you say you were here to negotiate with me? Somehow, it's starting to seem like you intend to take it by force now. <laughs> I'm merely stating a fact. After all, I'm also a scholar. Naturally, I hope to show proper respect and dignity to the God of Wisdom. Your hypocrisy is built on absolute confidence. I understand your scheme, but... What if I were to destroy the Gnosis now and awaken the Heavenly Principles? Awaken... the Heavenly Principles? Hmm... Do you think that's really possible? The Heavenly Principles have been silent for many years, but the Gnosis are symbols of their control over Tevat and all the laws. Will the destruction of a Gnosis attract the attention of the Heavenly Principles? And if so, how do the Fatui plan to deal with the consequences? Do you dare to gamble such a possibility with me? <laughs> gamble? How surprising. I thought you would show evidence or use rigorous reasoning to prove your point. The word gamble is the last thing I expected to hear from the God of Wisdom. But this is a clever move. You must have seen through me when I first captured your consciousness. As a scholar, I respect all possibilities. This has always been my principle and is an essential trait as an experimenter. Indeed, I can't ignore this possibility. So tell me then, what are your conditions? This foreign Gnosis will only lead to disaster if it stays in Sumeru. But this Electro-Gnosis is the prize I obtained after defeating one of your fellow Harbingers. Now, as the one who initiated this cascade of events, shouldn't you pay the corresponding price? Price? Interesting. What price would you have me pay? How about erasing all your other segments? <laughs> So this is how you wish to restrict me, the most threatening opponent of the Nation of Wisdom. What you request of me is like plucking out the eyes I have placed in the dimension of time. Segments are extraordinarily difficult to make. They require extremely rare resources and enormous amounts of time and effort, requiring me to destroy them all here and now. Bravo. A suitably wise decision on your part. Yes, how very interesting. Can I assume that you have long been wary of me? Among all the versions of me, this segment you see now is the most selfish. If it weren't me, your idea wouldn't have worked. What did you see when you were imprisoned? You were observing me. And that's how you know I've long grown tired of their doubts and endless arguments. Like you said, it's difficult to make peace with yourself. Being as smart as you are, have you managed to do that? Hmm. I see. If you think all those versions of me are worth a gnosis, then deal. You sure didn't hesitate much. Is the relationship between all the versions of you really that bad? I don't think there's any need to dwell on that. The surplus versions of me can be exchanged for a Gnosis. Do you think anyone can offer themselves at a higher price? Besides, with my abilities, it's only a matter of time until I find better perspectives. Perhaps it's best to say you're just temporarily ahead. But what I'd like to know is... How can you be sure that I've really erased them? I can see your remaining honesty. <laughs> what a ridiculous decision! Sheer you can't be serious! 
How could I have been so short sighted? You think this is the end? Wait, I'll have my Please wait. You'll make Good this riddance. moment count. You, you will regret this. Well, have you confirmed that it's complete? Here, take it. The future of Sumeru City will be in my hands alone. I will shut down the Akasha and let curiosity and the thirst for knowledge drive the realm of academics once again. There won't be any further gaps for you to exploit. It truly pains me that my academic achievements have never been appreciated in my homeland. Of course, I have no interest in being rejected by this city for a third time. Another chess piece. And where is your dendronosis? Don't be greedy, Harbinger of Snezhnaya. No, this is a different transaction. If you intend to turn off the Akasha anyway, then there's no further use for the Gnosis of Sumeru, is there? Besides, isn't it the Archon's duty to deliver what's desired of the Seeker? Oh... Judging from your expression, you don't seem to find the idea very agreeable. Then let's think of it this way. Since you're the god of wisdom, how about I exchange some knowledge with you? People exchanging knowledge with the god of wisdom is the stuff of legends. Yet here you wish to exchange knowledge for the god of wisdom's property. Arrogant as that is, it has piqued my interest. Let me ask you. Have you, in all your mighty knowledge, ever heard the rumor that the skies of Tevat are fake? Bueno, esta pregunta, esta pregunta es jodidamente importante, yo creo. That's the secret hidden by Ermin's soul concerning the truth of this world. Once I finish telling you about this, it will be time for me to say goodbye. With negotiations. We've all gotten what we wanted. I'm very glad I got to meet you like this. Your arrogance may know no bounds, and convictions may mean nothing to you. But I'll still listen to what you have to say. Vale, eso de que el cielo no existe... Esa pregunta... Buah, chaval. Cuidado con eso. Poca broma, eh. Secretos y oscuras verdades fluyen hacia la mente sabia y después... Silencio. Oscuras verdades. Madre mía, de cosas que no sabemos que son jodidamente perturbadoras. Varios días después. Esto es una maldita locura, tío. No sé cuánto le queda a la misión, pero yo creo que poquito ya. Esto es una maravilla, tío. Esto es una maravilla. La temática siniestra, oscura, perturbadora, tenebrosa que oculta el juego. Es que yo creo que es más de lo que nos podemos pensar, eh. Bueno, eh, y más de una de las cosas seguro que es un reflejo de, de, de la realidad y todo. O sea, ¿me atrevo yo a decir algunas cosas así? Bueno, a ver, porque tampoco se carga esto. A veces tarda, a veces tarda porque se lo tiene que pensar. Yo creo que es porque ya hemos acabado una escena importante y como que cambiamos de lugar, cambiamos de zona, cambiamos de tipo de escena... Yo qué sé. Varios días después, además. Joder, son varios días. Si tenemos que esperar así la realidad también, me puedo morir. Menos mal. Venga, Paimon. Bueno, bueno, bueno. Buenos días, Paimon. Estupendamente. Eso. Aunque el día quedamos inconscientes durante el combate, despertamos en la villa Gandarba. Tignar y Kolei están cuidando de nosotros. Dicen que fue Saino quien nos trajo aquí. Tignar y protestó porque Saino siempre está enviándole heridos, pero ha cuidado muy bien de nosotros. Hemos pasado unos días descansando aquí después de agotar nuestras fuerzas. Ahora por fin nos hemos recuperado lo suficiente como para volver a partir. Tignar y Kolei nos contaron que han apagado la caja definitivamente y que la gente de Sumero ya no volverá a depender de él. Es un hecho que un cambio tan drástico tendrá un gran impacto en la vida de la gente, pero no hay duda de que es un cambio mejor. Bueno, pues vámonos. Buah, chaval. Increíble, ¿eh? Increíble. Un brindis por la victoria. O sea, esto ya es lo último de lo último, señores. Lo último de lo último. Vamos a ver esta escena. 
Y por hoy lo vamos a dejar ya. Sí. Buen día, Coley. Y encima que se han recuperado de el hacer esa gente que estaba enferma. Qué maravilla, Coley, cómo me alegro. Bueno, disfrutan de un suculento desayuno junto a Coley que estuvo esperándole. Uh, Paimon no la abrió. Bien hecho, Paimon. Vas cambiando, ¿eh? Oh, Se hace lo que se puede. Pero si tú eres maravillosa, Cole. No, 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 ahora le informamos. Habla con Tignari, que está por allí. Qué maravilla, de verdad. Qué jodida maravilla. Es una maldita locura, tío, este juego. A ver, Tignari, bonito. Good morning. How do you feel today? We feel bueno. much better. How about you? Ya está mejor tu herida. Recovering well. Thanks for asking. But from the looks of it, you seem to be already busy with work again. It's fine. I'm not that busy really. The Elazar patients have recovered, as well as Hepasia. For now, I only need to tend to my forest watcher duties. It seems once Erminsoul started getting better, everything else started to recover too. Yes, but there are still some residual effects. The withering is one example. Though it won't spread anymore, the existing zones won't just disappear. We forest rangers will still need to do the work. Gracias por ocuparte de un trabajo tan duro. We have some good news. Sino got his position back. <laughs> This news is hardly new. He had already mentioned it to me before. Oh. Quizá ni lo planeé decírselo in situ. Kala has taken over some of my tasks these days. I don't think she'll have time for it. Not to mention me. You see, some VIPs have come to the forest recently. Huh? VIPs? Well, technically speaking, they are former VIPs. The sages involved in recent incidents have begun their training in the Avidya forest, and the people they had previously imprisoned have all been released. Huh? Tu se yes, bien. he's a little weak, but he isn't injured and his condition is stable. Lesser Lord Kusanali in her boundless mercy has decided to spare Azar and the other wrongdoers. Supposedly they were ashamed of their shallow ideologies and have decided to dedicate the rest of their lives to cultivating wisdom in the Avidya forest. When they learned that Lesser Lord Kusanali had defeated the Balladir and saved Ermensoul, they were shocked at first, but also became happy, feeling that the sacred light guiding them on the path of discovering wisdom had begun to shine once again. As a result, work has increased for the forest rangers. That sounds really exhausting. There's nothing we can do, really. But that's another topic. Back to the matter at hand. Are you two planning to head out? Ah, right! We're here to request permission to head out. Would that be okay? You've recovered well. You may go, but be careful. Yay! We'll do! Obviamente, iremos con cuidado. Bueno, eh, dirígete al Gran Bazar. Ese es el objetivo, aunque por lo visto no hay que esperar dos días. Por lo tanto, tenemos que ir justamente... Pues a la ciudad de Sumeru, señores. Justo ahí. Lo que pasa es que esta mierda no se movía el mapa de los cojones. A ver. Vale, pues... No voy a dejar... Aquí. 
Aunque yo creo que esto lo acabaremos, no sé si mañana... Bueno, en el siguiente vídeo, digo. O sea que yo lo voy a dejar ya, señores. Increíble. Nah, de, de, yo creo de la información más importante que hemos ido recopilando hasta ahora. Yo de momento me despido y no me enrollo más. Disfrutad de vuestros días, pero recordad sobre todo de vuestras noches. Hasta la próxima. Señores, me había despedido, pero... Faltaba esto. No me acordaba, tío. Acceso denegado. Detén el nacimiento del falso dios. El ciclo de la vida y la muerte. Con una obliteración fugaz se revela la naturaleza de todas las cosas.